Hey viewers, this is SkyFi Audio coming to you from Glen Rock, New Jersey. Today's video covers a Continuum Caliber turntable that we see here. Uh, we just sold this piece. It's going out to a lucky new owner out in Los Angeles. So I thought we would do a quick feature video. And this is not an in-depth review of the Continuum Caliber. There are plenty of those out there, especially done by uh, famous Mr. Michael Farmer. This is just a sort of overview of what the components of the turntable are and what some of the design features are. So yes, in fact, this whole thing is a turntable, right from the floor all the way up to the tone arm. Uh, it is one system meant to operate together. Uh, the major components break down into the continuum caliber turntable with the Cobra tone arm. Um, this is the, the stand made specifically for this turntable. It's called the uh, Castellan. And um, below this top unit here is the um, vacuum pump controller and the motor controller. And then that is a battery pack used to power the, the motor. Um, it is made of uh, some crazy alloys with a beautiful uh, finish on them. It's something that we don't really see very often. It's almost like a matte um, aluminum finish. Um, the other thing that is notable on this turntable is that we've got a minus K isolation platform. So the dampening between the turntable and the stand comes standard as a magnetically dampened system. This has uh, what's called a minus K dampening system designed uh, pretty much to, for some crazy laboratory grade equipment and microscopes and things like that. And as you can see, when I give it a little push on the turntable, the whole thing kind of just floats. It's absolutely magical. And maybe on this here, you can see how it completely isolated. All right, some of the design features. Um, this piece right here weighs 165 pounds, believe it or not. Uh, the platter alone, I think, is somewhere in the 80 to 90 pound range. And no, the platter is not two inches, as you see here. It actually goes pretty deep into the body of the turntable, as you might be able to see through the window. Um, so it is a massive, massive platter. And they've done some pretty uh, neat engineering tricks to get it to spin correctly. Um, spinning a, a 70 pound weight is not an easy thing and it puts quite a bit of stress on the bearing motor. And what Continuum did was, is they actually magnetically levitated the, the platter, which is pretty neat. I think the effective resulting weight of the platter is six or seven pounds. So um, quite of an engineering feat. Now, the platter bearing itself is actually oil lubricated. It's got a high pressure oil bearing, but they're using in tooling and machining equipment, which is crazy to find on a turntable. And the actual motor itself, which is visible under here, is a belt driven motor. Um, and the electronic drive comes from um, both uh, the controller unit and the battery backup unit. So the motor itself's power is, is supplied by a battery which is continuously being charged. So it never does see any AC into its uh, path. Here, if we look at the bottom, we can actually see part of the, the bearing structure and the three feet that level this uh, plinth onto the top surface. Pretty, uh, pretty outstanding. The stand itself, custom made for this turntable, features some pretty neat nautical style buckles, uh, turnbuckles here where you can actually tension the entire system to provide rigidity. It weighs a ton just by itself, so it's a great foundation for the Continuum Caliber turntable. Moving on to the tone arm, this is the Continuum Cobra, which is a monocoque carbon fiber tone arm, really unique design. Uh, it's a hollow tube very, very lightweight, very stiff carbon fiber torn arm, which is uh, runs on a unipivot. It's a three point, I think, unipivot, pretty complex bearing here, which is pretty neat. And then there is some pretty neat magic about the counterweight and its placement. As you can see, it doesn't hang out the back like most torn arms do. This is actually slanted down. Um, torn arm also features some pretty cool adjustments here for both height and placement here and here. And then the Tormo cable itself runs through the tube and then up this little guide for the, for the fine wire. 
So to operate this table, you put the record on and you put this sort of suction cup in here that it seals the surface between the spindle and the record. And as you can see here, there is a soft gasket that provides um, the suction. So as I push the button here to activate the pump, you will see the you will hear and you will see the record get squished down completely flat. And I don't know if you're like me, I've got a plenty of records that aren't completely flat. So this essentially turns all those records into, <laughs> into flat records with a push of a button. Really a must for any sort of high-end audiophile turntable. Because you know, you can imagine the effects of having a warp record, what that does to the tracking ability of the cartridge. Uh, on this particular table, we set it up with a Lyra that we like. Um, but of course, the new owner of the table will either supply or for us to install or do his own cartridge. Uh, but uh, here at SkyFi, we've got access to all the great cartridges from around the world, so. Um, Feature-wise, uh, the speed controllers are here. That starts the table spinning at 33, got 45 and 78. And uh, you can release the pump by pressing the vacuum button all over again. And here you can see the, the platter moving. Don't have any, don't want any copyright violations, so I'm actually not going to play any music for you. But I thought I'd just put the arm in place so you can see it do its thing. All right, well, thanks for watching. This is the Continuum Caliber uh, brought to you by SkyFi Audio. Please subscribe to the channel if you like what we're doing, it'll help uh, keep us motivated. And visit us at skyfiaudio.com. We have hundreds and hundreds of cool vintage items. Uh, in our shop. I'll give you a quick sort of peek at how much stuff we've got. There's a Jadi system, some vintage Mac, Luxman, some Wu Audio. Here's a cello system that's got a new owner and our wall of Macintosh. So um, please subscribe to our channel and we'll keep showing you more cool things like this. And thanks for watching.